You guys are not ready for this. How many of these cheapest videos are we gonna do? And it's like, the more I watch, the worse they get. Today we're doing the cheapest wedding ever. If you're new to this series, I will leave a link in the description below. Check out the other episodes. People go to great lengths to save a few pennies. Let's take a look at this couple. Extreme cheapskate Stephanie Rivers takes advantage of her job as a flight attendant to save money. So we got Stephanie over here. She got a good job as a flight attendant. Shit, you get to travel for free. What more could you want? These nuts. What? These nuts. When the passengers leave the plane, I check for a meal that's left by a pilot or a passenger. There's really neat stuff here. She's gonna take meals that people left behind. Like her co-workers, the pilot, y'all didn't need something. You know damn well my hungry ass is gonna eat it. What if they were saving it for the next flight? And she's just gonna straight up snatch it? Ravioli, pasta primavera. Stephanie's idea of fine dining is bringing home with the airlines left over. She got a whole freezer full of meals, all those sandwiches. She dead ass took them from people. They should probably check her bag before she gets off the plane. Anybody looking for their food like, hey yo, where my sandwich go? Check her fridge. Open up a refrigerator and it looks like a deli. The food is perishable items. They're gonna throw it away if I don't take it home and eat it. I'm saving myself about $15. Do you guys think this is smart or is it a little overboard, you know? I mean, Obviously, if they're leftover meals, like from the airline, I think this is pretty smart. She's like the pilot, the staff, they left this behind. It's mine now. Hey, you know your lunch? You gonna eat that? Just take it. In first class, they serve mixed nuts. In main cabin, they serve the regular nuts. No. No. Did she really take people's nuts? She really got a huge container of these nuts. Ah! If they're unopened, you're not allowed to take them. But of course, if they're open, I bag them up, I bring them home. A jar of mixed nuts is about $8. I don't have to pay for it. Hold up. So if the nuts are open, she's allowed to take them. But if they're not open, they take them back. Ugh. Hold up a sec, because I am one of the people who do this. Sometimes, I don't want to eat the nuts. And I will put it in my mouth or I will lick the salt off of it. Am I the only one that does that? No, I know there's people out there that lick the salt off and just, I don't wanna say it, but suck on the nuts and then put the nuts back. <laughs> people are gonna touch them with their nasty fingers. You don't know where those nuts have been. Is she out here collecting the nuts? She got a whole damn container of other people's nuts. Girl, you wild. And they're really good for protein. <laughs> that was, that's nasty. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Um, oh. He's like, damn, why she like those nuts so much? She like other people's nuts more than she like my nuts. <laughs> but he's right. That's nasty. Not that was, that's nasty. <laughs> He doesn't seem like he approves of her ways. Or maybe he don't like nuts as much as she does. Still good. They didn't touch them. If they were gonna touch them, they probably would have eaten them. Girl, that's what she think. That was that's nasty. So this lovely couple decided to get married and they want to have the cheapest wedding ever. The unclaimed baggage center is like the mecca of lost and found. Maybe we can find you some golf equipment. Okay, so they are going shopping at a baggage claim center. I didn't even know this was a thing. So apparently, if you don't claim your bags, you lose your stuff at the airport and you don't go to claim it, after a certain amount of time, they will sell your stuff to this place for really cheap. They might have some wedding, wedding stuff. So they want to get a wedding dress and a tux. You're telling me people lose a wedding dress and a tuxedo and then like not pick it up? What? I got a feeling I'm gonna regret this. So we're looking for engagement rings? I'm looking for a $75 diamond ring. Can you help me? She want a wedding ring for $75? <laughs> this place nice, looks like a TJ Maxx. They got a whole jewelry section for wedding rings. Like people who lost their wedding rings and now they're being resold in this place. 
Let's see what your cheapest one looks like. What do you okay. think about that? Oh, no, we'd have to have this one resized. Well, let's keep your options open because just about everybody has to have their ring sized. Sized? You better make this fit right now. Sizing that cost, and then if you add that into the price, then we really didn't get that good of a deal, so. We didn't get that good of a deal. $75 for a diamond ring. Let's look at all the rings that fit my finger that are in my price range. She just got here and they have already had enough of their shit. They even called Pam, the manager, over. Also, why Lauren over here looking like a damn watermelon? Why you go to work looking like a damn watermelon? Okay. That one's gonna be small. You wanna try that one on? Yeah. Let's check out this price. $196.99. Wow. Oh, that is nice. Wow, you're killing me. <laughs> wow, you're killing me. I really did not come here to buy a $196 wedding ring. <laughs> wow. Okay, um, so you'll take care of that. We'll take care of that. We'll take care of that. <laughs> it doesn't look like he want to take care of that. He's like, $196! <sighs> okay. You have wedding dresses here? We do. Wedding dresses and men's suits are just on down the aisle. Okay, thanks ladies. Okay, all right. <laughs> That's the face of a man? who looks like he's making the biggest mistake of his life. Like, I'm really gonna be stuck with her the rest of my life? Or is he thinking, did this bitch really sell her a $196 ring? Down the aisle. Okay, thanks ladies. Okay, all right. What is that look? That is the look of disappointment. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, I'm aware. That's what it is. <laughs> That's what it is. This guy does not want to get married to her. I ain't trying to be with a woman who takes other people's nuts for the rest of my life. That was, that's nasty. <laughs> she was like forcing him into this. Oh my God, it's a tux needle in here. Oh, that is my size. 55 bucks for a tux, you can't beat it. It's probably just a showpiece, it's not we for sale. We need help. <laughs> He does not want to get married. It's not for sale. It's probably just a showpiece. It's not we for sale. We need help. <laughs> I really don't want this because don't force me into this. Oh my God, we're like on TV and everything and we're filming a show and I feel like I'm really getting forced into this. Like first the wedding ring and now, like in the car, she was talking about let's go to this center and buy golf equipment. Maybe we can find you some golf equipment. But no, she dragged his ass to buy a wedding dress and a wedding ring. Like she's forcing him into it. Really like this dress. The dress is $230. $230. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one's 49. That's really nice. <laughs> I want to know why he's so stressed out. Is it the money? Is it because she's spending so much money? Or is it because he's being dragged into it? Comment below, what do you think? The train. That's formal though, I'm still, um, I mean, where are you planning on wearing this at? Where? <laughs> what? That's formal though, I'm still, um, I mean, where are you planning on wearing this at? He doesn't even know they're getting married. Where are you planning on wearing this at? Where? Like he doesn't know he's getting married. <laughs> he's just so clueless. You know what? Well, how about this? You were gonna go to the Justice of the Peace. Well, what if we did a wedding here? I think so, I think we should do this. <laughs> Well, what if we did a wedding here? I think so. I think we should do this. I'm pretty sure she just said that as a joke. He's not having it. He's like, not today. No, God, I just wanted some golf equipment. I came here for some damn golf clubs and shit. Maybe we can find you some golf equipment. Now we're getting married? The state of Alabama is home to nearly 13,000 churches and countless ordained ministers, two of whom work at the Unclaimed Baggage Center. What are the chances of two ministers working at that store? There are two ministers that work at the store. This is planned. What the hell? Now, before they know it, they're getting married in a store. Plan to be your lawfully wedded husband. I do. You may now kiss the bride. That's my baby. She got what she wanted, and I'm happy. Yeah, man. You're happy. Blink if you need help. Hey, that's my baby. Hello, 911. 
Jimmy and I said I do at the Unclaimed Baggage Center. It was just a bargain that was too good to pass up. So this is what you brought me here for today. So this is what you brought me here today. Your plans, they have been foiled. She knows what she wants. She want a wedding? She gonna have a wedding. Guys, take notes. You want something in life, just go out like her and do it. You wanna take people's half feet and nuts? You do it. Less than 500 bucks, we just got married. For less than 500 bucks, they got married. Hey, that's pretty good. I mean, the average cost of a wedding is 28,000. Damn, all right. I mean, they saved a lot of money. But what do you guys think, though? Was it a smart wedding? I mean, obviously, if she's happy, he's happy. I don't know if he's really happy, though. <laughs> hey, get out of here. But yeah, as long as she's happy, he's happy. I got a feeling I'm gonna regret this. Look at all the rings. $196.99. That's really nice. Okay, thanks, ladies. Okay, all right. I think we should do this. Oh, you're killing me. Then everything is great. Y'all save money. But anyways, that's all for today. If you guys enjoyed this video and want more of these cheapest videos, make sure you hit that like button in the face. Comment below the cheapest thing you've ever done. And subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.